I've always been an artist my entire life. Um, fine arts painting major in college. Uh, but by my senior year, I was really growing tired of painting. I was getting more into sculpting. My first project was Crybaby. The idea was just an adult body walking around with a realistic baby face, head. So that juxtaposition was this surreal nightmare. I made this gorilla style of video where I had a family of baby heads walking down 16th Street Mall. You know, I'd film them from the back and then I'd run around and film them from the front and then I would film people's reactions. Oftentimes they would think it was real at first, which is interesting. And then they kind of avoid you like the plague, but I mean, people were horrified, but at the same time they laughed and um, were just enchanted by it. Then all of a sudden overnight, my video went from like, you know, uh, 2,000 views to a million views. And ever since then, I've been, it's been a full-time job. When I started doing likenesses, it was more about, well, who are the people that would be fun to wear? Who are the, the um, characters in real life? Same thing, I knew there was gonna be that surreal, nightmarish aspect, that disconnect of the wrong face, wrong body. So that's always there. So when I first started sculpting, I mean, of course, I was using traditional methods, clay on an armature. You know, there's a certain appeal to working with clay, I suppose, and I think probably a lot of people would prefer it. Um, I myself, not a big fan of it. I bought a computer sculpting program, and I bought the Lulzbot TAS-5, just to see if it was going to work for me, see if I could transition out of traditional sculpting. And I've been blown away, extremely happy ever since. The benefits to uh, a 3D printed mold, one, it's done by a computer instead of by my hands. The automation of that process, it allows me to do other things while it's printing. Two, material cost, way less. Uh, you know, I may be using $20 worth of filament. And three, it's lightweight. Huge advantage as far as being able to pick it up, move it around. I'm printing the mold, which is the negative, on the Lulz bot. I can cast the silicone directly into the plastic. It doesn't stick to the plastic. I don't have to even worry about putting a release agent down. Um, I can hypothetically use this mold for as many masks as I wanted to make without it falling apart. My name is Landon Meyer. My company is Hyperflesh in Denver, Colorado, and I make disturbingly realistic masks.